One very important part of the Christmas tradition is tradition. For a lot of people, myself included, specifically the tradition of watching childhood favorite Christmas movies, like the one that the game today is based on. And uh, no, it, it is sadly nothing to do with the classic Rankin Bass uh, stop motion special with a couple of misfits or any cool stuff like that. Nope, it's based on some 1998 musical, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer the movie, that I'm pretty sure no one really cares about anymore. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer's Magical Sleigh Ride, published by Wizard Works and developed by ETI Entertainment Technologies Incorporated in 1998. And if you've never heard of the developers, just know that the people behind this also worked on titles like Anastasia Adventures with Puka and Bartok and Cosmopolitan Virtual Makeover. And while the box may look suspiciously like the movies at first, it's got a gimmick that makes it less lazy and actually pretty unique. Rudolph's nose lights up and blinks away, which I imagine was pretty eye-catching on a store shelf. I'm gonna go ahead and say it flat out, this is the single most interesting thing about this game, so let's take a closer look, because I'm avoiding everything else. Inside the box, you get a pretty normal cardboard insert, but there's a little spot cut out just for an LED to fit through. Nestled in between the cardboard, board is a battery pack holding two AA batteries and two wires connecting to the LED board taped to the front. It's just a simple red LED connected to the circuit with a transistor in the middle allowing for the blinkage. Kind of crazy that they'd go to the extra expense just for a low-budget seasonal movie tie-in game. I assume it was some kind of partnership with Rayovac due to the branding on the back of the box. But oh yeah, there's still a game here too, I almost forgot. Also in the box is the game itself on a single CD-ROM, but mine didn't come in the correct jewel case. Instead, mine came with too many type fonts. Too many type fonts. Rudolph the R&R's MSR begins with a short little animated animation. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer's Magical Sleigh Ride. Oh man, that lady's voice sounds like every children's audiobook I've ever heard. I love it. Too bad she's never used again, and then you get a disturbingly simplistic menu with options to do things like start the game or go to the print shop. Wait, wait print shop? Yes, this features, and I quote, three magical activities, one of which is an external print program. It's simple enough, you just pick from a bunch of pre-made characters, objects, and backgrounds, place them wherever you want, and maybe drop in some text, then print it out as a black and white coloring book page. Quite appropriate, actually, since the entire Rudolph story was created for Montgomery Ward as a cheap replacement for the coloring books they were handing out in the 1930s. But I couldn't print anything here since it just crapped itself whenever I tried. I guess that's what I get for expecting printers to actually work. So moving right along to the game itself. And, uh, <laughs> oh man, this has got to be the best intro I have ever seen. Hey, look! What's here going on, Rudolph? Rudolph? Yeah, so if you try to run this on an incompatible machine, everything runs like 10 times too fast and gets all jumbled up. It's hilarious. Though as much as I love it, it also makes the game completely unplayable, so let's try that again on another PC. Can you get the toys and bring them to Santa's sleigh? We sure can, what off? This thing's all ready to go, go, go! I'll get the gifts, Rudolph. I'm on my way! Be careful! Right, so now that everyone's off the caffeine, the gist of the story is that Santa's mismanaging the North Pole again. Somehow he's let this terrible contraption come into existence, which drops oil and bees onto you for no good reason. It also drops presents every so often, and it's your job as the head elf or whoever to catch all of them and avoid the oil, killer bees, and evil penguins with snowball bazookas. Anyway, once you get the set number of gifts without losing your candy cane health, it's on to another short cutscene of no consequence whatsoever. Then it's time to wander around the world and pick where to go next, although how they managed to create the clunkiest interface for something so simple is beyond me. Sometimes you need to press left, sometimes right, sometimes left and right just to enter a single city, it makes no sense. Finally, you're off to deliver the gifts you caught earlier, and uh... Hmm, well this looks quite familiar, doesn't it? 
At least if you have seen my other Christmas reviews, Special Delivery Santa's Christmas Chaos did the exact same thing 14 years prior, just with more solid clouds. And sadly, you don't get to do all the cool trespassing through the chimney like you could in that game. Nope, here your only job is to avoid the things flying at you and to make your delivery to the city's home. Yes, home. Not homes. Find the home. With all the Christmas lights and ignore everything else, that's the one you want. I guess the moral of the story here is you'd better decorate your house for Christmas or else Santa doesn't care and will just pass right on by without a second thought. Seriously, he doesn't even care if it makes it to you safely. He just has his elf toss it down the chimney. I mean, what if there was a fire going? Oh well, too bad. Try again next year. And really, that's it for Rudolph and the sleigh-nosed ride of reindeer magic or whatever the name is too freaking long. You just do this until you're congratulated and earn a Medal of Valor. Although I honestly have no idea why Rudolph receives it, because in case you didn't notice, you don't play as him for the entire game. Every single thing is done by an elf, from the gift collecting to the tossing of presents into fires around the world. And yet, here's this squeaky-voiced punk who comes along and gets everything handed to him because he's got a genetic defect that the slave driving management finds useful one night of the year. What about the elves, man? What thanks did they get? None! That's what! I bet they aren't even allowed to unionize. It's no wonder that elves in so many other Christmas games are always causing havoc in one way or another. They don't get no respect. Well, anyway, enough polar politics. What it comes down to is this is a simplistic game that is sort of, kind of, not really based on a Rudolph movie that no one remembers, with a print program that doesn't work, and a set of mini-games that get boring before you even start them. I will say that the animations and graphics themselves are quite awesome. The artists behind this definitely had talent. But other than the art, the box itself, and the fantastic glitches that make everyone freak out like they've had 37 lattes, there's just not a reason to even bother. It might amuse your kid for an hour or two, but there are a hundred other things that do it better and actually have some values to teach. All this teaches is that you need to decorate your house to get presents, and then no matter how hard you work, someone more special is going to come along and take the credit. Merry Christmas and have a happy status quo. Well, on that delightful note, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas indeed. If you somehow enjoyed this, uh, you might want to check out some of my other ones, especially the Christmas ones that I've done more recently because they are far more in the Christmas spirit than this. You can check them out on my channel page, or you can subscribe to receive anything that I make in the future right on your YouTube subscription thingy. You can also follow and interact with me on Twitter and Patreon for other things that I happen to ramble on about and update on in between making these videos. And you can also support me on Patreon if you want to do just a little bit more and perhaps receive some extra perks like being able to see videos earlier and stuff like that. And as always, thank you very much for watching.